Hi, my name is Jennifer Logue with Rock on Philly, and I'm here at City Hall to chat with Councilman at Large David O oh about an exciting new music initiative called PHL Live Center Stage. Councilman, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with Rock on Philly. Oh, thank you for coming out. This is really cool. So you want to tell us what inspired you to start PHL Live Center Stage? Well, uh, as a councilman at large, which means I represent the entire city, uh, it's my job to think about uh, how to uh, lift up this city, uh, how to build up the economy, and at the same time, how to make sure we're doing it in a way that is relevant to people uh, in our city and around our city. Mm -hmm. And so as chairman of a committee which includes a creative economy, uh, I wanted to do an initiative around music. And yes. so PHL Live Center Stage was that initiative. Very cool. Now, how can local musicians get involved with this? Well, it's very easy. The whole point of uh, this effort is that anyone can do it. What happens is musicians will video themselves, uh, go to our website, with, which is phllive.org, okay. and go through the instructions and upload for free uh, their video. They simply do it on uh, YouTube and then uh, paste the uh, U URL onto our website, and they're done. There are 10 music genres. That's so easy. Yes. Ten so easy to enter. 10 music genres, and they choose which one. Mm -hmm. And if they don't know which one, stick it in one of the categories. Okay. And then from there, our judges will do the rest. So we have some great judges. Cool. Who are some of the judges? Well, we, we have, for example, uh, uh, a two-time Grammy Award winner, um, uh, Carvin Hagen, 18-time uh, wow. uh, Grammy-nominated uh, 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 producer, songwriter, Ivan Barrius, um, a uh, guitarist, uh, Dai Miyazaki, who just got uh, two Grammys this year. Very and cool. uh, some other gold record. Uh, we have a DJ in the DJ category, DJ Joe Logic. He's a Grammy Award winner and others. Cool. Philly just has so much talent. It sure does. It really does. Right. And that's one of the points is that with all this talent, you know, we wanted to make sure that people in every nook and cranny of, of Philadelphia and the surrounding area had an opportunity. And so this is the opportunity. Just, to be heard. Yes, to be, to be identified, to be uh, developed. Um, and to be put in front of the people that can maybe make that happen. Yes, and so once they upload their video, the judges will go through it and they will select from, in each category, five finalists. Okay. And the finalists will then be invited to perform live at uh, 10 different venues in Philadelphia, and those are great venues. For example, um, World Cafe Live, Love World uh, Cafe. Hard Rock Cafe, yeah. Underground Arts, uh, Milk Boy, Time, Relish, um, and ultimately a final award show at, uh, at the Trocadero. Oh, the Trocadero. Now, when will the uh, performance aspect of this initiative take place? Okay, um, it will take place during the um, the last week of October, I think the first show actually is um, October the 21st, okay. but then most of the shows will be in the last week of October to the first week of November. And then um, the, uh, the judges will select, but not announce, the winner of each genre, and the people who attend will be able to vote for People's Choice. Huh. And then at the final show in December at the Trocadero, all five uh, performers um, from each category will be invited up on stage and the winner announced. Cool. So what are some of the prizes that artists can potentially win? Well, the good news is we're still developing prizes, so cool. I can say that this is at <laughs> minimum. Each, uh, each winner will receive uh, $500, wow. um, and then different winners will receive different other prizes. For example, many of the winners will be able to get free studio recording time. That is um, so needed for yes, indie artists. Yes, and some will be able to open for different venues. For example, um, if they win the uh, rock category, they will open at the Milk Boy for one of the cool. shows at the Milk Boy. And, uh, um, if they win the jazz category, for example, they'll open for a show at the Dell, which is 6,000 people wow. watching them open. Yes. What a huge opportunity yeah. that is. And then in classical music, I just met with the president of Curtis mm -hmm. Institute, and they're offering a variety of prizes, but it depends on who the winner is. So for example, if they're a teen, but our, our uh, you know, um, uh, initiative, you have to be 18 or older right. as of now, but they've offered us such a wonderful prize that we're really thinking about 
lowering the age in, uh, in the uh, classical music section because if you're in their teen category, um, then you may win, uh, for example, a three or four week um, summer music camp put on by Curtis Institute. And so those are is power. Yes, and that's what we're working through right now. Level, so. Yes. Now, when is the registration deadline? Musicians have to know this part so they can yes. register. And what happens is it, it's already ongoing, okay. started August the 15th, but musicians will have until September the 30th to submit uh, their video. And uh, if you're a great musician uh, uh, or if you just think you have some musical talent, there is no litmus right. test here. Anyone can submit a video. You gotta go for it. September 30th is the deadline. PHLlive.org is the website. Super easy to register. Now, Councilman, what are some of your hopes for this inaugural year of PHL Live Center Stage? Well, uh, what I hope and what I think is going to happen based on some conversations that we've, we've had recently, as recently as just an hour before we sat down here, mm -hmm. is that um, one, the city uh, as a governmental uh, body will recognize the value of music and the creative uh, economy to our strat uh, strategic planning for what's good for the city. Second yes. of all, we can provide a real opportunity um, to people in our city uh, a, a real and practical uh, opportunity and then um, we can focus uh, some of our city assets on supporting our music industry as part of building up uh, both the opportunity for people in our city but also for uh, building up our economic growth for the future. Yes, no, music connects people. It's the yes. universal language and I think it can be a great economic stimulus. Councilman, it was a pleasure interviewing you. I'm excited about PHL Live Center stage. Um, everyone at home, remember phllive.org. Register, get involved. And yes, please. Don't let this opportunity go by. No, definitely not. Thank you. All right, thank you.